Long live freedom, damn it. <laughs> okay, back here with Dream World, a libertarian anarcho capitalist game. Starting Javier Milei, congressman here in Argentina, known a reference to the world, I think, right now, of anarcho capitalism. Yes, the man is a little bit insane, but really amusing, entertaining. If you want to have tons of content of Javier Millet on the internet, you can find more about probably the next president of Argentina and the first libertarian to be president anywhere, I think. I've never heard of that before. <clears throat> right now I'm building traps because the red scum is coming my way. <laughs> Those goddamn communists are coming to take away my my private property. That's why. That's how I think uh, Rimworld is actually a libertarian game. There is no state, no taxes, as you can see. You build your own private property that you must defend with force, <laughs> extreme force if necessary. Excellent game made by Tynan Sylvester. I think it's Canadian. And it was actually banned in Australia. But it's tons of fun. The only thing is you must have really almost infinite time <laughs> to play this game. It's huge. It doesn't end. I had a session with, with Elon Musk that, that was far ahead and I wasn't even close to finish Dream World. I think the final objective is to get your your main character back to the stars or something like that. But I never got there. So talking about Elon Musk, you know, the billionaire of Tesla. My other game had a Bandicam watermark and that was upsetting some viewers. So <laughs> I had to start the whole thing again. But rest assured, Elon Musk will be back to this game here because, you know, I'm, I'm really a fan of the guy. He, he made the message to the world that capitalism works if it doesn't work for me or you because we are losers. Simple as that. <laughs> I'll come with this communist bullshit. And at any case, I still need some wood. As you can see here, Javier Millet is a night owl and, and a wimp. <laughs> he doesn't want to get into, into fights. That's exactly why I'm building traps what I'm doing here now is actually changing the times that my characters in this case Javier Millet goes to sleep you know because he's a night owl such as myself actually I use dream world to sleep I have really bad I suffer from insomnia really bad and this game actually helps, you know. It came at a time that I wasn't really on playing video games anymore. I thought that my days of game playing, game playing were over, you know, because they didn't, I didn't got, I didn't get any amusement from playing video games anymore. It was just something I used to do, but, but the last, the last games I was trying to play, Android games, I was hating them also. I really thought my gaming days were over. And then Dreamworld came. Uh, I just read about it on the internet and I got it. And I, it's relaxing, it's fun, the music is relaxing. It gets really tense sometimes, so you must pay attention. It's not an easy game at all. At any case, I recommend you to go to Steam and get Rim Word. It got a, a 98% positive review, no? rating on Steam among 2,000 users. So, really good game. I have some news about Javier Millet here in Argentina. His numbers are, are growing. You know, he's, he's, he's loved by many people 
adored by the younger the younger population here in Argentina and people are just I think people are just tired tired of of politics in general and he says we have to support those little monarchs who think they have they, they are entitled to get money from the people which they are not and I agree with Millet 100% I I take I just don't take politics seriously to me it's just for fun entertainment you know I, I don't care really I don't care about a capitalism actually I'm not a capitalist I have no capital so that would be just ridiculous I don't consider myself to be right wing left wing nothing I just want to have fun <laughs> and politics is fun if you see any debates with with Javier Millet, I can assure you, you're going to have fun. If you don't speak Spanish that well, you know, you can use a translator or something because I really do not want you to miss the fun that is actually listening to this guy. He's really aggressive when he's debating anybody. Go back to Cuba. <laughs> hey, go to Venezuela. Leave your, leave your communism there. <laughs> he is entertaining fun and he's hungry <laughs> in my game actually Javier Millet is starving what I'm doing here of course is harvesting some some berries because I have nothing else remember this is my third part of the game Millet came here by himself alone after a, a bad surgery <laughs> he landed on this hostile planet by himself no clothing no weapons and you must survive you know and of course i consider dream world to be a libertarian anarcho-capitalist game really fun the market is totally free you have no restrictions you're going to find out later you know that you can buy people slaves guns weapons, drugs, even, even human meat. Yes, actually they were accusing Bolsonaro, the president of Brazil, the ex-president. No, no, he's still president today. Is, we're still in October and Lula will take over in January. So Bolsonaro is still president. And they were accusing that man of cannibalism. <laughs> Besides lots of other things that I don't even want to talk about on YouTube because, you know, I get, I might get flagged. <laughs> yes, that's dangerous. We have a very aggressive judge on the Supreme Court right now that might not like what I have to say and then, you know, ban my channel forever. <laughs> he did that before and he might do it again. Javier Millet has some food now. My colony is a little, is getting a little bigger. So I'm proud of you, Javier Millet, libertarian, anarcho-capitalist, really, co really consistent with his, with his speech, you know, his philosophy. He actually, he actually makes a donation of his salary to the people. So he says, he ha he's not entitled to keep that money, so he gives back to where it belongs, that is the people. He considers ta taxes to be theft, and he's really smart, and he likes numbers a lot. Actually, when he's talking about numbers, I kind of, you know, whatever, man. <laughs> I don't like economics at all. It's, I think it's just boring, especially considering that we're talking about billions and billions of, of dollars and I have nothing, so why should I care, whatever. And But the rest of it, the rest of his debates are really fun. You should, you should take a look at Javier Millet. Okay, nine minutes, huh? Well, if you enjoy anarcho-capitalism, libertarianism, Again, I'm going to recommend you to take a look at Sam Cedar and the Majority Report. He has tons of debates with libertarians, all of them really fun to watch. 
I recommend because I've learned a lot about libertarianism in that channel, what they believe and stuff. And take a look there, Sam Cedar and the Majority Report. And I'm going to leave you with a little audio of Sam Cedar asking for likes and subscribe. That's it for today. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.